<sighs> All right, it's a new year, and I want some new My Vegas features. Time to do some recording. Huh. That's weird. Got a message from Kino Kid. Let's see. And now MLife is officially worse than win slots. All right, time to do some math. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just want to give a quick thank you to all of our Patreon members that help keep the channel growing. More on that later. Happy New Year's, Friends and Sharks. Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So for those of you hoping that 2022 would be the year of the player, don't get your hopes up too high. We got some bad news for you. MGM and M Life, as you guys know, have already been in the news for making some pretty big moves. And the last one that they made wasn't exactly too player friendly. It looks like comps, at least at M Life properties, are going to be a little tougher to get going forward based on the changes that MGM Resorts is making to their M Life Players Club Rewards program. And trust me, these adjustments to the player's card are even bigger than what they've done to the hotel portfolio lately. Starting February 1st of 2022, it appears as though you'll be earning 4 points for every dollar spent in an M-Life property towards your tier status, and as far as gambling goes, your gambling tier status will be evaluated whether you're on tables or on machines via a computer algorithm, it seems. So why is this a big deal? Well, let's look at the old rules first, so we can compare them to the new ones. So prior to this big change coming up next month, M-Life used to cater to both resortists and players. Resortists or non-gamblers were offered 25 points for every dollar spent at an M-Life property, and those went towards improving their tier status. Whereas slot players were offered 1 point for every 3 to 10 dollars wagered on a machine, depending on if it was video poker or a slot machine. Table players were calculated based on a rating system of their play. There are five tiers you can aspire to. Sapphire tier, the bottom of the bunch that requires a point total under 25,000. Pearl tier, the first advanced tier that requires a point total of 25,000 or more. Gold tier, the advanced tier that requires a point total of 75,000 or more. Platinum, yet another high tier that required a point total of 200,000 or more. And finally, Noir, which is by invitation only. There are no official specs on how many points you need to earn to be invited to Noir. The most common estimate I've seen online is anywhere between 1 million to 3 million points. Each of these tiers has benefits to reward the player for keeping their business, whether it's gambling or not, with an M-Life property anywhere in the world. Sapphire offers basic discounts on rooms, dining, and retail, and the occasional comp offer. Pearl offers more of the same, but includes free parking, larger discounts, dedicated lines, and more time to use your comps. Gold takes the benefits of the previous tiers and then adds dedicated check-in lines, complimentary upgrades, a bonus to points and comps earned, and even priority dining reservations. Platinum adds even more priority access, better comps, better bonus dollars, along with a couple other bells and whistles. And at Noir, you're pretty much a shareholder, do what you want, they'll probably give you anything shy of the executive washroom keys. Okay, that was a lot to take in. Here's the abridged version. So, basically the way the old program worked is, the more you stayed, played, and spent at properties like MGM Grand, Excalibur, Bellagio, or even Mandalay Bay, the better they treated you. But now, let's take a quick minute, and we're going to look over the press release that MLife has just released, on their official website. <clears throat> okay, well here is the exact wording straight from MGM's website, so you guys know I'm not embellishing everything. All right, the tier credits. Tier credits earning rates change for eligible spend. Starting on February 1st, 2022, earn four tier credits per dollar spent on eligible spend, including hotel accommodations, dining, and spa services. Credit earning rates will change when playing slots, video poker, and video lottery terminals. That's Kino for those of you that aren't initiated. Starting February 1st, earn tier credits playing slots, video poker, and video lottery terminals based on length of play, average bet, and of course, game type. Through a partnership with Hyatt Hotels and Resorts, MGM Rewards members who stay at participating Hyatt Hotels may elect to earn MGM tier credits in lieu of World of Hyatt points for eligible spend, and they'll get four tier credits for every eligible dollar spent. 
So basically in exchange for not getting very many tier points, you can at least get a couple points when you go to Hyatt. Now regarding express comps, bonuses on express comps based on tier statuses will be discontinued and only offered on a promotional basis. So that means that Pearl, Gold, Platinum, and Noir members will continue to get a bo bonus points earned playing slots at the same rate as today. It just looks like any bonus comp dollars are going away. Here's the one that really kind of gets me. MGM rewards members who generate high levels of table gaming activity may be subject to exclusion from earning further express comps upon notice from MGM management. So I guess whether you're playing well or poorly at the tables, they're just not going to get you anything out of it, so there's not much of a point anymore it feels like. They're also stopping the Platinum Experience and the Curated Living Program. So there's that. I guess the only good news here is the fact that you have until the end of this month to enjoy your current status and continue earning points towards another status for the next month, I suppose. Okay, now let's see how the new plan stacks up against the old plan. So comparatively, it's pretty clear. The old plan was much better for the player, at least on paper. The dollar to point conversion was 25, meaning if you wanted to buy your way to Pearl status through MLife without gaming, all you needed to do was spend $1,000. Now to do the same thing with the new system, we divide 25,000 by 4 and realize that to get to 25,000 points, you need to spend $6,250 without gambling. That's over six times more, and that's if you don't gamble. Now the trick is, you don't know exactly how much you need to gamble going forward. It used to be a very simple $3 waged on slots was worth 10 points, and an even more simple $10 on video poker would earn you 10 points as well. So about $7,500 in slot play a year would probably keep you at the pro level. There's an easy formula for calculating tier credits for slots and video poker on the screen. Now it'll just depend on what the computer thinks. And as for tables, forget it. If you generate too much activity, whatever the hell that means, you might not get any more comps at all. So it might not even be worth your time to play table games on the strip anymore, at least not with MLife. Alrighty then, so we know that MLife and MGM Rewards are changing the MLife Rewards programs at all of their MGM properties starting February 1st. But the real question that I still have is, what the hell happened and why did it happen? Well, here's the official word from the website and I'm gonna read it to you verbatim. Quote, we heard your feedback and will soon introduce more ways to earn better benefits and improved offers. And this action is of course in, again, quote, in preparation for these changes. Again, whatever that means. I do have a couple theories as to the real reason that MGM is doing this. Okay, theory one as to why they're doing this. They're trying to make the conversion for Cosmo members easier going into MLife with the merger between Cosmo and MLife going forward. I'm sure that you guys remember that I did write a video about this recently. Cosmo's operations have been purchased by MGM Resource International and MLife is theoretically going to be the player's card at the Cosmo going forward. Forward. Now, keep in mind, there's already been a calculation done to convert identity membership into MLife points and make that work. Hmm, I wonder where you could find that, Cosmo executives. Wonder where you could find that. That aside, I, th that's the only logical conclusion I can come to. Maybe it's just easier for them to do the math. I know math isn't super easy for everybody, so maybe that's just it. Maybe it looks better for the executives. Who knows? Theory number two. Really? Bill Hornbuckle just wants to squeeze some more money out of the gamblers. Yeah, short-term profits, it's a pretty standard thing for your average American C-Corp. And just the fact that the house has been winning a billion dollars every month for the last nine months in Vegas is icing on the cake. So of course they're looking to get as many gambling dollars as physically possible out of a player. It also contributes towards their MGM 2020 plan where they're looking to cut costs, so that would be cutting costs from marketing with comps, 
and increase profits by increasing revenue from gaming very clearly. And all of that is going to contribute to them getting a better license in Osaka, Japan, because Japan is changing their gambling laws and offering a few limited licenses to foreign casino companies. And you know what? Old Bill Hornbuckle and the boys over at MGM really want one of those licenses. So that makes logical business sense, even if it is bad for the player. Another theory that I do have is tourism recovery is slow. I don't have all the numbers offhandedly right now, I'll probably just go ahead and drop them on the screen over here, but these last couple months haven't quite looked like 2018 and 2019 numbers. What with travel restrictions, the lack of international visitors, and probably just some general difficulty traveling around as Americans, it's been a little quiet in Vegas. Yeah, every streamer in the galaxy wants to make it look like, what pandemic, Vegas is back to normal, but honestly, even being out there, I've, I'm still kind of feeling like Vegas is a little empty, even on the weekends. Like, it's still a crowded place, don't get me wrong, but I've got a lot more shoulder room than I'm really used to compared to the absolute peak times that I remember going to back in the mid-20-teens. So, that could be a big part of it, too. They're trying to keep themselves afloat while they wait for people to come back. And my fourth and final theory is... M-Life is trying to do the new Coke thing. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but Coca-Cola changed their formula some years back and decided to market that there, and then people didn't like it, so they brought back Coca-Cola Classic with the old formula and the old taste, and it sold gangbusters. It's an old trick, but the way I figure it, because they mentioned that they're making some other changes that they were doing these changes for in preparation of, I can only assume they're reducing the payouts and reducing the marketing budget for this just so they can make some tweaks and, well, bring it back to almost the same as what it used to be and look like heroes because it made it sound like they were listening to our feedback and it's not going to cost them any more than it would have cost them a year or two ago, too. Anyway, those are just my theories. All right, that's enough of that. If you guys excuse me, I need to research some more casino rewards programs and figure out if it's worth the switch for casino platforms as well as applications, too. You guys got all my social medias, yada, yada, yada. Let's go talk about it in the comments. All right, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's editorial and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a moment to shout out our patrons. Guys, it means the world to me that you're choosing to support me in this way and help keep Ace of Vegas independent of the YouTube algorithm. My content isn't always censor and advertiser friendly, so it goes a long way in keeping the channel running. If you'd like a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, check out the Patreon link in the description box down below. In the meantime though, what do you think of MLife's sudden plan change? Do you support MGM in this change? Or are you planning to move your play and spending to one of their competitors? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. 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 Viva